Hi there guys. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the key differences uh, between the revision 1.0 and revision 2.0 uh, for a gaming monitor M27Q released by Gigabyte uh, about a year ago. So uh, from the start I want to say that I got this monitor about a month ago. Uh, it's a great monitor, uh, 14 uh, 40p, uh, 27 inch IPS uh, panel. Uh, one uh, millisecond response time, uh, color is amazing, uh, response time is amazing, uh, no blur, nothing like that, everything works just fine. And um, when I got it the first time, uh, when I went to the store, I saw actually two boxes over there. And um, basically um, it was the same name for the monitor, but there were some key differences uh, in between the boxes in the store so let me show you what i'm talking about so uh this um this box is advertised on the website it was advertised on the um, retailer website too and this one was in the store too so as you see if i'll have them side by side there are two boxes in the store uh, the boxes look completely different. Uh, if you're going to look at them, you're going to see that one box says 170 uh, hertz response time, time a one, 170 refresh rate with one millisecond response time. Another box says 165 hertz, right? And it doesn't specify the um, uh, response time. And there are other differences over there too. Uh, if you're going to look at the mounting, like of the support, you're going to see over here you have four screws and over here is just a flat one so uh, when i saw that i asked um, an associate what's going on and he said basically it's uh, the same monitor only um, the packaging is different because the um, sometimes the manufacturer they uh, change the packaging uh, based on supply demand or whatever and so on and um, that kind of didn't sound too uh, believable to me so um, I didn't get it then. I went home and did some research on it. And this is actually what I found. Uh, when I went to the manufacturer website, as you see it here, uh, there were two revisions, revision 1.0 and revision 2.0. So if you scroll down on the manufacturer website, uh, you're gonna see that on the website, um, basically, um, there is no difference whatsoever when it comes to publicizing this item. Everything, see the mounting, looks exactly like the same. This is revision 2.0 here, this is revision 1.0 here. I'm going to go sc scroll down, scroll down and you're going to see that's the first key difference over here, revision one. 0.0 is advertised as a 0 0.5 millisecond response time. Revision 2.0 is advertised at 1 millisecond response time. Now revision point 0.1 it's advertised at 170 hertz refresh rate and revision 2.0 it's advertised at 165 hertz refresh rate. Another key difference is the a color. The revision point always capable of 8-bit color with 92% DCI P3. Revision 2.0 is capable of 10-bit color at 95% DC, DCI P3. Anything, everything else kind of looks exactly the same. So uh, that confused me a little bit. And I ended up actually calling the manufacturer to find out which one is which in this store uh, because no or there was no indication whatsoever uh, on the boxes or even after I got the 2.0 after opening the box uh, I uh, looked on it see maybe they have uh, some more says which revision is stuff like that because you're actually going to need that if you want to update the firmware uh, for this monitor 
uh, after calling the manufacturer, uh, they were unable to give me uh, an exact answer on that too. They were kind of confused too. So we're gonna go uh, over the key differences over here. So first, let's go through the technical difficult uh, differences from the actual manufacturer website. Come on. Okay, here we go. All right. So uh, these monitors, uh, these monitors, uh, both revisions are kind of identical, except for a couple of things, as I've told before. Uh, Ninety-two percent uh, color color saturation for the revision one to ninety-five percent uh, for the revision two. A 0.5 millisecond response time for the revision one. One millisecond response time for the revision two. 170 refresh rate native for the 1.0 and 165 native, native overclock to 170 for the revision 2.0 uh, for some reason uh, when it comes to connectivity the revision 1.0 doesn't show the one uh, USB 3.0 upstream uh, port it actually has it too uh, when it comes to connectivity, both monitors are identical. Now, there is no difference there. Uh, the difference is also in the unique features. So the 2.0, besides all the features of the 1.0, has a 6-axis uh, color correction, a smart uh, overdrive utility, and an Eagle Eye uh, app. Other than that, everything is exactly the same. So if we're going to go again to the gallery, uh, to determine actually which one you're getting that's again confusion over here see if you're gonna look on the gallery 1.0 and 2.0 physically the uh, the manufacturer sh shows them as identical even the boxes the packaging boxes they look uh, exactly the same which is actually uh, not the case so um, after coming back home and doing the research, uh, I found out actually that the 2.0, it's actually packed a little bit different. So I'm going to go back to that. So again, this is the box for the revision 1.0. And this is the box for the revision 2.0. All right. As you see, the box uh, looks different and the mounting support for the monitor it's uh, different too. Now when you go in the back of the monitor, again, you're gonna see it right here. This is revision 1.0. You see the screws, the way the, um, the bar is attached to the monitor. And this is, I took a picture of the back of the my, my monitor because I couldn't find anywhere online a picture of the back of the revision 2.0. So the revision 2.0 actually, it's upgraded. You still can uh, mount it on the wall. Uh, this is this is basically a snap-in uh, connection over here. Uh, you just there is a switch right here. You push it up, and this comes out. And over there, under here, there are still those four holes that you can mount the monitor when the on the wall uh, if you want to. So this is uh, side by side. Revision 1.0, Revision 2.0, you see the key differences in the back. Again, the only way to know exactly what revision you're buying, it's actually to inspect the box in the store. In the store. Again, Revision 1.0 box versus Revision 2.0 box. And the back of the monitor. There is no indication on the box and there is no indication anywhere on the monitor which revision is even if they're even after connecting the monitor with the USB cable to the computer to upgrade the firmware it didn't show anywhere which revision that was and uh, believe me you want to go with the revision 2.0 uh, because of the uh, better color reproduction uh, connection over here and uh, additional uh, unique features that the monitor has uh, a point uh, a point five differences in uh, response time it's actually negligible 
So uh, let's go online and now, right now, and see who sells it and what version. So let's go to Best Buy first. And by the way, this monitor right now advertises as $360 US dollars. I was able actually uh, to get it for $249 for, from Micro Center about a month ago. So if you go right now to bestbuy.com, uh, they show over here in the gallery, shows, show, they show it as um, this will be a revision 1.0 they might have in the store a revision 2.0 uh, so before you head there you may want to give them a call uh, make sure what they have uh, same thing with the micro center uh, they advertise only uh, revision 1.0 uh, when i went again to the store over there they had both so after doing the research I, uh, I decided to go the 2.0 uh, because of the uh, better color reproduction and uh, let's try this side here on New Yeg this is M27Q Pro which is actually I'm sorry this is a different one let's see if they have the 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 the, the not the pro this is a different monitor go to this one yeah again they advertise the revision 1.0 let's see if they have the other one and this is okay okay this is the m27 qp which is actually a different monitor versus M27Q. It's really, really close to the M27Q Revision 2.0. Uh, this actually has a little bit uh, better color accuracy. Instead of 95, it has 98% other than uh, and the uh, 400 HDR uh, versus 350 uh, CDM HDR. This will be even a better monitor, uh, but for a difference of uh, 50. Um, in uh, HDR, it's uh, and 0.3 percent in uh, color accuracy. I don't think it's worth uh, the extra 50 to uh, 70 dollars. So again, this is the only way to find out uh, which uh, revision you're getting uh, back of the monitor: 1.0 versus 2.0 and this is how you get it before you this is how you know what you're getting uh, by the uh, packing uh, boxes uh, that are in the store that's kind of it other than that guys this is a great monitor it uh, it performs uh, really really well uh, no issues uh, whatsoever uh, works fine uh, no, uh, ah, another big, uh, big plus is uh, if you're gonna go to the writings.com website, uh, they have an extensive review of this monitor. Uh, out of the box, it doesn't require any um, uh, color calibration. Uh, it's already pre-calibrated at about 97% color accuracy. Uh, guys over there tried it to uh, recalibrate it to get a little bit more. They went up to 98%, which is extremely well. So. Uh, right now it's around 360 dollars i was able to get it about a month ago at 249. Um, it's one of the um, the panel uh, came without any kind of ips glow uh, that's kind of the main issue that bothers a lot of people most of the people they play usually in the evening when they have free time in a darker room so an ips glow will be an issue so this uh, this monitor doesn't have uh, any issues like that so uh, check it out uh, i hope this uh, helped you in uh, choosing which revision you want to go with and knowing precisely what you get and again uh, it's a really good idea to go to go and do a research uh, on any items uh, before you 
uh, get them. Uh, in this situation, revision 2.0 is way better than 1.0. Uh, sometimes a revision 2.0 is not as good, like uh, Gigabit uh, released uh, Gaming X uh, motherboard, and then they uh, uh, released the revision 2.0, which actually was uh, a downhill uh, re uh, revision. Uh, versus the 1.0, uh, the 2.0 had uh, big uh, RAM issues that couldn't be corrected and they pulled it off the market completely. But that's a uh, different story. So uh, ho I hope guys uh, it's gonna help you with your decision and uh, please don't forget to subscribe and um, shoot me a message uh, if you have any questions. Thank you and enjoy the rest of the days guys. Bye!